Hey everybody, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok with Dude Long Couch. So, this is going to be the Muspelheim episode, but before we head there, we do have a little bit more to mop up here. I told you guys I was going to look for it off camera. And, uh, you know, look, check this out, guys. Okay, listen, I spent about a half hour running around this whole damn area trying to find this. And eventually I got sick of it, and I just looked it up. And you know what? I'm kind of glad I did. I'm not above that at this point in my life. Just, you know, <laughs> looking some stuff up every now and then. And check this out. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Do you guys remember me looking at this and saying like, oh, the, clearly there's nothing there. Because there's no visual indicator whatsoever that there's actually something that you could do to that pile of rubble. Because as far as I know, there's nothing else like that in the game. So I consider that to be some erroneous bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's me. There's the damn raven. Yeah, got him. So many. They killed their own to protect their secrets. That's harsh. It is their way. But perhaps with the Consul's journal, Big Veer can teach them otherwise. Hmm. They kill their own to protect their secrets. Well, I think everybody does that, more or less. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, though. I did not actually look up the solution to the puzzle in here. So I still have to figure that out. Oh, look, we got a... Wow, how are we going to light that all the way over there? Pretty freaking far away. We must have to figure out something else. That one's easy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess <laughs> I guess it's not really that hard to like just poke around and figure out you can you can break through that rubble. The thing is, in modern video games, you're you're trained to look for clues like visual indicators about things you can do. And if there is no visual indicator, then your brain kind of automatically tells you, no, you, you can't do anything there. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, it stopped. Hold on, can I get that going? Indefinitely, can I make another perpetual motion machine? <laughs> well, I got what I needed. But I still want the perpetual motion machine. I don't know if this actually supports it. Yes! I think I did it! <laughs> I get so much satisfaction from this, and I really can't explain why. It's just cool. That's so cool. Anyways, all right, what did that even do for me? Oh, look, we've got an explosive point down there with the fire. That is probably gonna come into play with that guy. And then it's actually not easy to get an angle on that. I guess I gotta go from back here? Maybe this will work? Well, not quite close enough. Uh, okay, this is probably better. Right. First one I made is gonna disappear. Eh, that should still work, actually. Alright, come on. It's gotta be it. Fuck you! <laughs> if I just spam this, eventually it'll work. Ah! Okay. Let's try. 
right there. Okay, I think those are connected. There is a visual indicator in the center of the circles when they're connected now. It's kind of vague, though. Motherfucker. They're gonna... They're gonna be jerks about this. Okay. There. Yeah, see, it just kind of flares up a little bit. Thank you. And now, maybe we can use that to chain up to the one up top. Oh, wow. It's already lit up, for real. <laughs> okay. You know, when you're doing one of these connect the circle puzzles, they really could just give you unlimited arrows. That would be very kind of them. Well, that took about five minutes longer than it should have, but it's done. damn apple okay and that mops up the burrows I think still only at 93% what am I missing here oh that's for Alfheim in general it's because there's still uh, some stuff in some other regions okay I don't think I'm going to concern myself with that right now because that was not the purpose of today's video. We now journey to Muspelheim, which I'm simultaneously excited and dreaded for. <laughs> I actually heard from a buddy of mine that Muspelheim has like the best armor in the game or close to it. Your legendary weapon. You have a favor, father? No, they are tools for specific tasks. A preference would be meaningless. I like the axe. I too like the <laughs> axe. Oh, I thought they were going to leave it at that. They actually turned it kind of sentimental. I think they like the axe because of the connection to Faye. Which makes sense. I don't know, man. It's hard to pick. I mean, I like them all for different reasons, I feel, you know? The axe is cool. Has the whole connection to Faye thing. The blades are iconic, you know, that's like his original weapon. But then the spear is just badass. I mean, they're all great. They really, really are. All right, we've got the mystic gateway to the crucible. Now, let's see which armpit of Muspelheim that seed leads to, huh? Armpit? <laughs> Muspelheim. Feels like I was just here. Something Odin put you up to? Yeah. Company's better this time, though. Uh, Thor wasn't so bad. Obviously a huge jerk, but, you know. Another flower. Hey. How about that? Pretty sure that's Ash Battle. <sighs> Mr. Brock. What do you know of the trials? Oh, just your usual Muspelheim challenges of violence and slaughter. Rumor was it's Surtur's way of honing his blades, but I think he's just as much a sucker for blood sport as the rest of us. Yeah, who isn't? Am I right? Whoa, oh, we've got new things here. Okay, first of all, 
I think I need to buy another Resurrection Stone, right? Yeah. I don't know which one's going to be most helpful for these trials, but I guess we'll just stick with Berserker. Since I am using Original Rage. <laughs> okay. Successful Axe Range Attacks now generate Charge of the Permafrost skill with successful Precision Throws generating even more. Oh, this takes Divine Ashes, which is probably a resource we get from Uspelheim. We already got 500 of them. That might have been what we got from that chest in Vanaheim. I don't know if I love that skill. I mean, eh, it's alright. I'm really curious to try out this one, which we just got recently. God, I wish I could upgrade it. Where the hell do you get Petrified Bones, man? <laughs> Then there's the Pommel of the True Flame. Increases the damage of the blade's runic attacks when the Immolation skill gauge is fully charged. Oh. That's kind of neat. Wonder what happens to the gauge then. Does it go down while you're using the runic attack? Because if that's the case, then I actually don't like that very much. Warrior's Echo Sauriter. Sauriter? Spear attacks against Sonic Afflicted enemies deal bonus damage and build... Bonus Maelstrom skill charge. Right now we've got this one. Which... Yeah, that one's pretty good. Hmm. I don't think I'd need that because I don't really use the Sonic Arrows in combat very much. Then we've got Rondo Absorption. The Permafrost, Immolation, and Maelstrom skill gauges uh, the increase when blocking or parrying. Really? Dude, that's super dope. That's really good. Oh, I need that. That is the first thing we're buying. I mean, okay, listen. It's possible that it's not actually as good as it sounds. But to me, that sounds dope. <laughs> Because those skills are super strong. And if you can build them up with methods other than just attacking, which is normally the only way you can build them up. Oh man, then we could go back to our parry shield and it would synergize really well with all that. So, okay, I didn't notice this until now. There's a Norn chest down here. Maybe we should look at that before we get too far away. It is locked, of course. So what's the layout of this place? Looks like there's a lot of different paths. Which is interesting because previously these trials were a fairly linear affair. You beat one, you moved on to the next one. Okay, up there is a trial sword thing, and look, there's a... Father, the sword! Just like when we visited so many winters ago. Yeah, and it's got one of the Nornier symbols on it. Runes, I should call it. Because <laughs> that's what it is. I guess there's no real order to these? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Which challenge do you want to try? Okay, so there's the ring out challenge. Opponents rapidly regenerate from any damage. Okay. Or feed the rift. Throw arms into the realm tear to close it before time runs out. Okay. Um, we're just going to try these. I really hope that these aren't too annoying. Health regeneration sounds pretty annoying to deal with, but... <laughs> really good. You know, in practicality, maybe it won't be that bad. Oh yeah, that comes back immediately. Okay, so... I think what that means is... We need to... Yeah, we, we gotta do ring outs. Okay. That's the trick here. So this thing might actually really come in handy. <laughs> I 
this gale force skill. Hey, ass face. Stop it. Dude, I I can't believe four sigil arrows didn't interrupt him. <laughs> it's just rude. This scale four skill. Sometimes it knocks him back, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know. Come on. Go back. All right, fuck it. You know what skill we know? We'll send them back. I was gonna say serpent snare, and then I got hit. <laughs> Okay, we won't rely too much on Gale Force. That's unreliable. Unless there's like a specific way to use it that I just don't know about. Which challenge do you want to try? We're definitely gonna have to get good at parrying to do this. Because these guys love that lunging attack. Oh, yeah. That's pretty, pretty uh, effective as well. Get out! Fuck off! Jesus Christ! Actually, I guess these guys are small enough that even regular attacks can knock them off fairly easily if you get them in the right spot. There you are. I am glad this is not a timed challenge. Timed ones tend to be the ones that really suck. In my opinion. up like that. Jesus. Yeah, maybe I should go back to that axe handle that gives me the health burst on the serpent snare skill. Probably synergize pretty well. Try tripping enemies near sloped ledges. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fairly effective. Ah, uh, you're a little too far away. Nasty, hey, go away, brother. I'll be fine. Just need seven more. Whoa! What was that? These bitches have Bifrost. I am the one who uses Bifrost. Don't you know? Serpent Snare is actually quite good because you can aim it. Stop that. Back this way. Careful, 
Ooh, he's got a chain attack too. Oh my goodness. Okay, alright, alright. Clap! Ah, dude, he's got like a Bifrost crossbow. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Enemy. Oh, what? He's supposed to be frozen. Come on, man. <laughs> Trying to be all cool and finish him with a kick. <laughs> Look, there's a chest. Oh, hey, check that out. One out of six crucible challenges completed. 250 divine fun. ashes. This place is pretty big though. I wonder if there are other arenas. Oh, wrist armor. We already got armor. Bracers of undying pyres increases the gain rate of the permafrost emulation and maelstrom skill cages. <laughs> yes, I love it. I'm not a fan of how there's no defense on this armor, but I mean, running and cooldown are both still pretty good. And that skill, man. Oh. I'm gonna need that skill. Actually, I, well, I might have to go back to the healing one for these challenges, but for like, you know, main gameplay, yeah, that's gonna be my jam. Okay, so that's mark complete. Now we need to throw orbs into the realm terror to close it before time runs out. Here we go. How do I get the orbs? Kill glowing enemies to collect orbs. Okay. Interesting. Looks like you need to toss those soul orbs into the void. Break it good! Got it. This doesn't seem so hard. I'm assuming that like pretty much all the enemies will drop them. They really should. They don't glow consistently. But they glow at some point. <laughs> Get out of here, you. Oh. Jesus. Right, the whole point of this, the orbs. It's easy to get caught up. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, I was like literally a second late on that. That's not too bad, though. We can do that. I still have one from the previous challenge. I'm cheating. <laughs> I cheated so hard. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. All right. There's three. Dude, get this thing out of here. What do you think I'm doing, Mimir? Okay, here's two more. This is all I need, actually. If I can just stay alive long enough. Oh. Done. This is not over. Be ready. Oh, Jesus. It goes in rounds. Okay, then. That displeases me. Okay, so we need to focus on killing things quickly. Clap. Larger enemies drop higher value orbs. Oh, 
run away when I'm trying to combo you? you bastard. Whoa! Hey! Just settle down there, home slice. Find your brother! Oh! Is that a high value one? Eh, kind of, but not really. Halfway there. Maelstrom. Hurry up and die. Nice. Give me that. You're on fire, Kratos. They will pass. Yeah, what else is new? There's the other one. Oh, come on now. Just need four more. Three more. Just need to survive long enough. Although, if we can get this guy down, he might be enough just by himself. No! Son of a bitch! Ah, uh, I have time. Incoming. Come on. Right side. Yes! Can that be the end, please? Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, I took a real gamble there. I wasn't sure that he would be enough. And I wasn't sure that there would be more rounds after that. That there wouldn't be, I should say. But both of my gambles paid off. I will use a Berserker Stone if it means getting through these trials. And that's 500 Divine Ashes. So we should be able to buy that shield now. Okay, so both of these are done. I'm guessing there's... Two other swords, off in different directions, that each have two trials. But, we're gonna have to backtrack. We're gonna have to... Remember... We should do that one next. We've been up top and we've done that. And one symbol's gone from the Norn chest. Yep. It all makes sense. Do they... <gasps> Heal me? No, they didn't heal me. Well, they healed me, but they didn't give me back my rage. Which is lame. Like, if you're gonna heal me, just give me rage. I can just come back here to get my rage. You're not preventing me from having it. <laughs> Although, maybe they take it away when the trial starts. Come to think of it. So, uh, maybe it doesn't matter. You're gonna get rowdy, huh? Diggers yeah. You wouldn't be able to turn down having another crack at these combat trials. I was right. <laughs> this inserter's gone. All right. Which one was it? Rond of Absorption. Yep. That's going to be all our Divine Ashes, but I want it. Hope you're feeling violent. Equip that shit. Then we need Divine Ashes and a Blazing Ember to upgrade it. Oh god, using this just is going to require a lot of grinding, isn't it? That's the price you pay. From... Come back if you need more crap. Using the Muspelheim stuff, Let's the good stuff. It. Okay. And then I need another Berserker Stone. I'm going to spend all my money on this shit, guys. Uh, it's 10,000 just in <laughs> the last, what, 15 minutes? All right. And I think maybe I go back again to the Dauntless Shield. I have more defense from it. 
And I don't know, it just it just feels good. I just like it. Plus, you know, this attachment we just got is focused on blocking and pairing, so pairing will be double good with this one because I'll build immolation or whatever. And I can also do the really good follow-up attack, so it's just good all around. What's going on back here? Interesting arena. Okay, really hope these objectives aren't annoying. Defeat all enemies within the time limit. Well, that's pretty straightforward, at least. And then flawless avoid taking damage. That one's gonna suck. Here they come. All right, let's go, enemies. Where are you? Please. Okay. Ow. You're on fire, but you probably already know that. Yeah, sure do. Behind you. Jesus Christ. This game loves being an asshole. And just putting people in the most annoying places to annoy the shit out of you. Can't get enough of it. Ah! Walker. Shit. <laughs> I just got overwhelmed. Just trying to use my permafrost and then they all have different uh, elemental alignments, so you gotta switch it up. Although my spear should cover everything, I think, because of that attachment I have on it. Maybe I should use that. They come. That's almost Take like cheating, I think. Because this is called weapon mastery. They want you to be switching them. But I planned ahead. I've specced for just such an occasion. On out. Oh. Maelstrom, and now there's nobody to use it on. There you are. Fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna save my spear runic attack for when those grims show up and just try and kill these dudes up here like as quick as I can without it. Maybe, uh, maybe this is a good time to use this. Then maybe that'll be back by the time I need it. Got her. Okay. Now the Grims. Get lined up. On your right. Shit, shit, shit. Trace help. Okay. 
That didn't work exactly the way I wanted. But at least one of them's down. I'll take it, man. Okay. No, I did the wrong thing again. Fuck. Where, come here. Frick. Okay. Wait, do these things have knock-in protection? Are you kidding me? You little piece of shit. Please die, please die. I'm trying so hard to switch to my axe right now. I really am. There we go. Whew. Weapon mastery. So, I, I think my big problem with that one is that I was trying to be too cute. <laughs> <laughs> I had my spear idea, and I was like, oh, I'll just use the spear the whole time. And, yeah. It gave me, like, false confidence, because it worked really well on the first set of enemies. But afterwards, it didn't work so great. We did it! Whew, that was annoying. Okay, chest armor is pretty similar... Um, wait, hold on. When the permafrost emulation or maelstrom skill gauge is fully charged, Kratos gains a shield that prevents the first to take him from resetting the gauge? Wow, that's really good, actually. And stat-wise, it's not bad either. It's got four stats compared to three. We, again, lose a lot of defense, but it's probably a worthy trade-off. And, you know... Obviously, this gear is meant to spec with the uh, the charge skills, which are like my favorite skills, even though I haven't really been getting to use them. <laughs> we unlocked um, another mod token slot. Yeah, we should probably set these. Because I have a lot of XP. So for f freezing throw, we can do... We should just do damage for that, I feel. Honestly, we should probably be doing damage for most of these. <laughs> the R1 leaping attack. I'll throw damage on that. R2 leaping frost. Yeah, that's going to be damage as well. And then this one... Oh, we definitely got to get we got to get one on there because I've been using this a lot in conjunction with the uh, runic attack. So once again, give me that sweet sweet damage. And ooh, this one increases immolation. Yeah. Where possible, I will do the Immolation Charge. I think it'd be, it could be really cool if I just kind of like spec the whole way towards that. <laughs> and that's like my build, you know? Okay. Now for this one. Avoid taking damage. Wow. Buckle up, fuckers. I can only imagine how long this is going to take. Try and do. 
A lot of ranged attacks to keep him away from me. That's only gonna work for so long, though. Just gotta focus on defense. That's all. Hardcore defense. On your right. Trace wants to kill a few of them too. Oh! No. He didn't die from that. <laughs> I I figured that would be enough arrows to kill that guy. Turns out I figured wrong. Nightmares. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I didn't even know that guy had spawned in yet. Let's do this. Nice try. Not this time, fucker. It's gonna blow. Okay, okay, okay. Where are they coming from next? Back, stay away. Starting to get a little close. All right, we're halfway there. Oh, they put people up top again, didn't they? Because of course they did. Where are they? Wow, these are some really strong dudes too. Trace, if you could just outright kill that guy. That'd be amazing. Ugh! Fuck you. No! No, no, no. That's right, I have that instant charge skill on my recall now. Which means... Well, that's pretty handy, actually. Because I can just do that throw skill over and over again. Dude, is that a... God damn it, that's one of those dudes that does those really quick attacks. Okay, okay. Okay, where's the second to last guy? Where is he? Oh, he's up top. Of course he is. Trace, please kill that guy. He's dead. Okay, good. Now we just gotta be really careful with this dude. Really, really, really careful. Please let that be the end. What is that called? Doubter Gradunger? 
Another example of Odin taking something that doesn't belong to him and bastardizing it, imbuing the Grounger with Bifrost energy, is yet another item on the long list of affronts the one-eyed pricks committed in his conquest. His charging attack is strong, but a parry will leave it wide open for attack. Okay. Whatever, man. I'm just glad I got through that. That could have taken way freaking longer. Where's my chest? There it is. I was actually terrified that that was going to take a lot longer than it did. It's interesting how I actually had less trouble with that one <laughs> than I did with uh, the first one. Okay, so that's done. The one up there is done. Uh, let's go check in with Brock. Gotta be so friggin' hot here. My sack sweat sweat. <laughs> That's too bad, man. Okay, they let me keep my stone. That's very so kind of didn't them. Want anything? Uh, can I upgrade this armor yet? Sure, I'm open. <laughs> no, not even close. Also, it's gonna take way more silver than what I have right now. Oh god. Oh, I got nothing but time. That's good. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a, a lot of grinding off camera, even after I finish these. Just to have enough to upgrade this shit all the way. Which is actually really annoying. That actually makes me not want to use this armor set. Okay. Please don't be annoying. Please don't be annoying. Kill the elite while keeping the population under the limit. Okay. Keep enemies out of the rings until the time expires. Oh, I hate those ones. Because you can't account for the AI. Like, they just do whatever they want. Kill the elite while keeping the population under the limit. Here we go. Zero out of four. One out of four. Three out of four. How did that not kill him? Fuck you. Dude. Oh, they just interrupted that. We must learn from this. Wow. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Let's figure out what I'm doing wrong here. I'll watch your back. I guess first of all, we should be using spear, get them lined up, and then. Well, I'm just gonna jump right out of it, so that didn't really matter either. But. Oh my god. Why don't you just spawn 8,000 of them? That seems fair. Yeah. Maybe I can just kill this guy really quick right now. Die! Is that it? Oh my god, that was it. Still haven't fully explored this place. Think there could be one more arena? I mean, I hope not. <laughs> okay, and we've got the Girdle of Undying Pyres. This increases the gain rate of the charge skills, just straight up increase. Oh, and this is where the defense comes in. I mean, not as much as this Berserker armor, because, you know, it's Berserker armor, but... Yeah. I mean, a 30% increase in this would be really good. My overall level is going down from using this armor, though. 
But if we're going to use this, we got to use the whole set, right? That's just what makes sense. I'm really hoping I can get to a spot where, like, I'm just good enough to use this build and make use of those charge skills in a way that is effective. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, King of the Hill. Keep enemies out of the ring until the time expires. Let us begin. This ring over here. Got it. This is less about the damage we're dealing and more about just getting them out of the damn ring. Oh, and there's waves. Okay. Where are we going next? Oh, there's two rings. That's just mean. Get out of here. I can just kill dudes fast enough. I don't really have to worry about where they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Knock me back so far. Okay. Forget him. Get out of here. Wow, this, they're actually pretty lenient with that, surprisingly. Although I am low on health. Get these poison clouds away from me. They're really just gonna linger there. Oh, it's cumulative, I see. That makes sense. Uh, how are you supposed to cover both sides? There are way too many, too many enemies here to deal with effectively. This is crazy. Oh, fuck you. Right. I don't know if this is doable, but let's try. Right side, incoming. Clap. Get out. <laughs> uh, oh shit! I didn't even see him there. Oh, come on, I'm so close. I'm so close. Careful, brother. You've covered it. God! Die! <laughs> it was so close. <laughs> Be ready. That's my soul. Fuck you! Oh my good god, dude! There's already like four of them in here. I'm 
taking mad damage. God, this sucks. I wonder if the Gale Force skill would actually work on any of these dudes. Get out of here. I'm just trying to knock them all out. <laughs> Yeah, great. That's awesome. And they've consumed my resurrection stone. Even though I failed the last challenge. They kept it because I failed. I didn't die. If I had died, they probably would have given it back to me. Oh, that's so... That's so bad. That's so bad. This sucks a lot. Fuck out of here. Find you, watch out. Yeah, this doesn't send them back at all. What's the point of a fucking Gale Force skill if it doesn't even do the thing you need. Get tilted, guys. Get tilted. Tilt is real. y'all get out of my life go the other way How am I supposed to get five dudes out of this circle with a massive Bergsra? And then the other one is in there too, like on the other side, and it's just... That's insane, dude. That's literally insane. I'm going to die again. Get out of here! Fuck! Oh, good. <sighs> I decided to actually be smart and kind of stand out there and try and yank them out. And I got punished for that by getting hit off screen with a projectile again. Oh, 
Well, that was easily the dumbest thing I've ever had to do in a video game. That was pure cancer. That was pure cancer. Plus AIDS. Plus crabs. Plus Corona. Make sure you guys get your AIDS vaccine if you do these challenges on your own. Holy shit. All the arena's taken care of, I guess. Let's see if we change something. Yeah, you better give me my goddamn Nornier chest after that nonsense. Fuck. I don't even have the energy to explain why I hated that so much. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I'm gonna show, to be honest. That was just... That was just awful. Oh. We got a chaos flame. That sword wasn't there before, was it? Dude, I don't know if I can do more of this. <laughs> I really, really don't. Um, before I even look at that, let's go get our axe upgrade. Give me. I can upgrade them. Yeah. 
Okay. Hot blades coming up. Did I say axe upgrade? I meant blade upgrade. This is one of those deals where my brain's just completely fried now. That's just how it's gonna have to be, to be honest. Alright, that's good. The blades are level 5 now, though. Should have a couple new skills to buy for them. Let's make something then. Oh, buy another fucking resurrection stone. I can't use them, though. Uh, don't get killed in the meantime. After getting screwed so hard on that last trial, I'm just like, no, like, there's no. There's no reason to use them. I mean, unless you're sure you can win when you come back. But, oh man, at least I got some decent XP out of all that. Alright, so. That'll make Scorched Earth better. Increases the blast radius of that skill. Okay. Oh, and then this is a combo. It's five R1s and then R2. Dude, that's a... It looks pretty cool. It's a different combo in every single tree, though. This is three R1s and then an R2. This one's probably going to be different, too. Yep, this one's four. <laughs> This one's five. Three, five, and four. Okay. I don't know. I'm very dejected now. <laughs> that that killed me, guys. That just morally killed me. Yeah. I really want to be able to upgrade this armor, but fuck. That was that was Need terrible. Something special? It's like they go out of their way to make these Surter challenges as unbearable as possible. Like, I'll grind something if it's not complete fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? But the way they design some of these challenges, it's just, it's awful. It's awful. Ah. <sighs> Well, if I had enough cash, I could get two armor upgrades at least. That would probably help a lot. I could do one right now. Which one gives me more defense? That one gives me nine. This one doesn't have defense. Right. We're upgrading this one. <laughs> you won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Fantastic. That ought to last you a little while. Very good. Well, let's see what's next. Hopefully it's easier than what we just did. Let's open these blue flames now. It's a cool effect. I don't think we can perform another challenge on the sword, Father. Not until we complete the others. I just did complete the others. Oh, do these all reset now? Is that it? It says complete the final six. Okay, this is giving me three. What about four? Oh, well, okay. Defeat at least 20 enemies within the time limit. Sure, let's Hope try ready, brother. Break it doors! Yeah, 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 I know. It'd be lovely if Atreus would actually shoot the damn thing when I'm looking at it. Fuck you. Watch it! 
Get out of my life. Oh, good. The big fucker. Definitely time for runic spam. Dude, I'm trying to kill this guy. Work with me here. Oh, this could be good. Let's see if I can pull this off. Kill a bunch of little dudes with him. Yes. That's a time saver. Still breach. He's dead. Jesus Christ. You don't even have time to go pick up a fucking Rage Stone. Which is ironic because Rage is all I feel right now. Hope you're ready, brother. Alka! Stun damage up. Where'd they all go? Oh, come on, man. We gotta take advantage of this. Fuck you. They all just vanish. Eight more, eight more. Oh, another one. Good. 20 seconds to take out another one. There's simply no universe where you're not fucking kidding me. How is it? <laughs> Why do they have to bring out a guy with so much health right at the end? They don't know what they're in for. Fuck 
center area what's that about so that time they sent out some extra wisp enemies and I didn't have to kill the guy with the big health pool at the end I don't think that happened before maybe it did and I just didn't notice them fuck man <laughs> oh look seven as guardian ain't got's pretty good I do like that. Although I'm not even using the armor that needed it anymore. So... <laughs> you know? It's kind of like... What's the point of that? At this point? Um... Uh, so what does this say now? Runes are here. It's like the other arenas are connected to this one. Wait, what do you mean nine runes? This is nine shit. Oh, did that... Did that unlock a, another one on here? No, there's no root on it now. Are they gonna, like, reset again three times? Is that what we're dealing with here? Which means even if I beat the next two... I would still have to go through all three of them twice more with even newer challenges. Take constant damage, but recover health by dealing damage. Okay. It's like the old days, huh? See how this feels. Fire from behind! <laughs> It seems like it won't be bad as long as we don't actually get hit very much. We definitely recover it fast enough. We also need enemies to actually spawn. Oh, yep, here it comes. But seriously, a fucking white. Jesus Christ. 
This is the anti-fun, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not having fun at all here. This is really disappointing. I, I was hoping they would design this in such a way that it wasn't quite as annoying as last time. And I'm sure it's me. Be ready. Okay. Before I get all the angry comments about how I just suck. I know I suck. Listen, guys, I'm fucking old now, okay? I don't have the reaction times that I used to have. Or, like, the reflexes I used to have. I know you think that I'm a rock star, kid, but... I gotta tell you the truth. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> I don't know, I was hoping these would just be, like... A little easier, you know? And I know I'm on hard mode, too. I could drop the difficulty down. I guess I don't even really want them to be easier. I just, I wish they were more straightforward. You know what I mean? They try to get, all, like, all cute with these weird-ass objectives. And what that really ends up turning into is really annoying mechanics that don't actually work the way they intended them to, I feel. Like, for example, in the one with the rings, where you had to keep enemies out of the rings, there were so many times where I'd be trying to knock an enemy off the ledge and he wouldn't actually fall off the ledge. I don't know if I actually kept any of that in this upload. Because I'm going to be cutting out a lot of this shit. I'll tell you that much. Alright, so... Burning arrows don't work on these things. They do work on the wisps. And now the runic arrows. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Need more enemies. But yeah, so I mean, it was almost like there would be an invisible wall there preventing the enemies from falling off. Fuck, man. And like, okay. In normal gameplay, you know, that would be annoying, but it wouldn't be a killer. You'd just be like, oh, that sucks, and then you'd go on and do something else. But in that particular challenge, it completely fucks you. It completely fucks you. And I just feel like they... I feel like they don't take enough time to make sure that... Here weird we stuff again. like that doesn't interfere with these... one-off challenges that they create... for these things. Because there's not stuff like this anywhere else in the game that I know of. And it just seems like they don't give it its proper due. And it just it ends up feeling janky. And therefore, very frustrating. Especially when you're like, dude, this has like really cool rewards associated with it. I want to do this. But I don't want to tear my fucking hair out just trying to grind to upgrade my fucking armor. You know? I really don't see why they had to put whites in this fucking thing either. Ow. Damn it. Oh, the elemental works on the whites, though. Yeah, what else is new, Mimir? Nothing. Take the move! Fuck you! Well, yeah, just go to the other side while I'm kicking your ass. Left 
Okay, I'm buying this upgrade. I want it. And that's literally all the skills we can buy right now. Other than more mod token stuff, which I guess we should also do. High frost. Uh, permafrost. And for Atreus, we will buy this. And then we just need to see if we can maybe do another level of his runic summon. Wow. Short by about 207. Lovely. The Noke is making these things stronger. <laughs> Behind you. Look out. Fuck off! This is the biggest load of fucking horse shit I have ever been fucking privy to. What the fuck? What were they fucking thinking with this? <laughs> Two nokens. Two nokens. While well, you're getting long dicked from every other fucking enemy. A warm up before making your choice. Incoming fire behind you. <laughs> 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 Another Raider! Watch out! 
to us the metal lives that's a metaphor sure i don't think so i feel nothing except cold rage I don't know if I've got any more of this in me, guys. <laughs> that was the second of the reset challenges, I think. Fuck, man. I've been at this for almost four hours at this point. And... Now they've put a gate here. Why is there a gate there? What? Combination forge. Sounds violent. What? Okay. Um Whatever this is, I guess we'll see what it is. I was right. 99 enemies. Ah, uh, yeah. My fingers hurt so bad. And there's level 7 dudes in here. Good news is I get my permafrost back. <laughs> I actually didn't have that at all in the last challenge because the fact that you're constantly taking damage during that fight means that you don't get to build up permafrost at all because it's constantly knocking it off. So that's like a real special kind of fucking stupid. <sighs> and I just... I just got killed out of my runic attack again. After killing two guys. Two of them. Combination forge. Combination violent. What does that mean? I was right. Why am I here? What happened to the other one? Why are these guys so fucking strong? concentrate on this anymore. I'm so just done. Did he just hit me like literally out of full health? Like I don't I don't know if it was 100% full, but it was mostly full. And in the I hit the heavy runic attack, which is the clap, which is the quick one. And in the time, in the second that that animation lasts. Combination forge. 
He came in and he killed me with one fucking hit. One. Out of almost full health, I think. I think. Oh yeah, look how much damage that did. It's almost my entire health bar. One hit. Dude, this is... no. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 99 of these super strong dudes, and you know there's gonna be bosses along the way too. This is absolutely insane. We're not coming back here until we're at least like level 7. Which I think we're going to have to do with other sets of armor. Which actually... Why do you got to be so freaking hot here? My sack sweats sweat. Yeah, mine too. But it's because of anger. Not because of... <laughs> the heat. So what, are they all closed off? Or... I don't understand how this works. No, oh, these are still open, but they're inactive because we beat them already. I keep saying combination forge. I don't know. I think the only challenge we can do is that one down there. And that's fucked. 99 enemies that are like, <laughs> you know, at least half of them are like two levels above me. Yeah, dude. Uh, oh, I'm completely defeated. And you know, it really does make me sad because I love this armor set. Like, the skills from it? That's exactly the way I want to play. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to be using those skills. That's I've, told, I've been saying it all along. Those are my favorite skills in this game. They're really strong. They feel nice. They're fun to use. It's a good mechanic. But... It's... I think the only way I can level up now is actually by using another armor set because I I won't be able to upgrade this gotta be so friggin hot here? until sweat, sweat. I grind out more materials from this place. Well, that might not necessarily be true because we did get divine ashes from the overworld. And I could upgrade the Raven Tears armor now, because I did get some Asgardian ingot. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out at another time. <laughs> I've also used up like all my hack silver on fucking resurrection stones. You could go back to this guy. Oh look, we could upgrade this too. With enough hack silver. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Probably, but I'm not going to commit to anything right now because I should not commit to anything right now because my brain is not functional. I, I have like, it's like uh, when people say like you're, you have to be committed because you're not in the right state of mind to make decisions for yourself. Like you're a danger to yourself and others, not because you want to hurt people because you're just not all there mentally. You know, like you just don't have the faculties to make good decisions. That's me right now. And it's because of what this place just did to me. So, yeah, we'll go back to the main story next time. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's about all I have. Like the videos if you want. I don't really give a shit anymore. Okay, bye.